Yes. Um, I just don't understand. You make a courses like a mantra courses for traveling, or what? What, okay. what do you mean? I got into different different types. One is like a musical therapy, and the other one is like giving giving all the concerts, playing with other people, and and then getting people to chant with us. That is more or less the idea. And also, what, we do, what I do is uh, playing different instruments with the same mantra, so people can also get the vibration, because every, every instrument has its vibration, so they also feel this, like a medanga has a different vibration than a, a harmonium or a guitar, and so they really can see something which is very close to them, like in their heart, mantra in their heart. Then, last question I have. Once you are done, do you have anything you like to share with other missions or other members here? Something you have, a, a program, a website, a CD or anything which you would like uh, to offer to them for their preaching to use or something? Yes, that's a nice idea, but I have just to make, because right now, on this way I'm sold out with, the, with my CDs, but uh, I have actually my website if you want to if you want to uh, put it down, uh, write it down, it's connie-c-o-n-n-y-in-the-middle. Uh, you write that down, let them know oh, okay. start. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we have a, yeah, a blackboard nice type. Yeah, write it on a blackboard also. And will we show yourself or Is it in English, the website? My website is in English and, and uh, Spanish. So this brings one very interesting topic to my mind and we can uh, discuss in, in some missions some people have some copyrighted material and some missions they have material they don't want any copyright they rather share it with everybody else so this is a very we, we decided many years ago in the WBA to have a bank a picture bank, a uh, sound bank, uh, a movie bank, where everybody can go and take and share or sell what they like to sell. Because if you don't know what somebody has produced, you can't sell it either. So, uh, especially amongst Vaishnavas, we have seen many times that some devotees are doing very wonderful things, and you go next door and nobody knows about it. They have not the slightest ideas. That happens even within the same mission. I've seen in some mission, some country does something. I'll give you one example. There was a group of Brazilian musicians, the best musicians in the country. They got enthusiastic about making one Bhagavad Gita via music. And to my personal taste, it is the best ever made music recording for Krishna on this planet in the whole presentation. And have you heard about that, right, Jenna? Yes, yeah. You heard about that? Yes, yes. Yes, a very nice rendering. So, for example, to have copies of that is something very useful. Just like uh, the example of George Harrison's songs they preached all around the world. I think everybody in every place they know about it. So, in this sense, uh, I, that was my question to Wang Si. So, if somebody has some more ideas and wants to announce a website, we just go on spontaneously. Who has any other relief works he likes to announce or simply tell what they're doing, what you're doing? Who is next? Think about it. What are you doing for uplifting the non-devotees to be devotees, the drug addicts to give up drugs, the, uh, the sad to be happy? What are you doing? Any plan, any project? I know you all have projects, you're just very shy. It's time to share. Please. Your name. My name is Jan. I'm 
name is Patrick, Patrick Cologne, and I uh, was living in Bangladesh and Belgium for a while, and now I'm in Budapest, and um, we're working on, on a bridge building, a bridge preaching program in Munich, where we want to um, give to the public um, yoga uh, and mantra meditation also. And we did, for example, um, Saturdays in a discotheque where they don't sell any alcohol and no smoking, and then we did some mantra dance uh, concerts. And we tried to address the whole yoga health uh, so to say. And trying to bring bridge from the strict Vaishnava teachings to the general society. And also find a bridge in, in the language. So to go away from um, the Vaishnava specific terminology by still saying the same thing that people can understand it more easily. Also looking for the branch of religious experience. Uh, where there are people, uh, psychological language, where people, for example, they can understand the process of purification of the heart, opening up to the love of God, and, and uh, in this way creating seminars and programs which pay rich from the old tradition, with uh, the tradition and Bhagavatam teachings, to uh, modern, understand, modern language and, and culture, without compromising the standards. So it's, 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 we were inspired to do that from uh, programs of the Ramita Swami in Australia, where they do very successful bridge building programs, where they, for example, have centers where they do Ayurveda, Yoga, and Jyotish, and all kinds of things, um, and create a very powerful bridge in society. So this is what we want to do now in Munich, and um, with your blessings, it will um, be successful. Also, somehow showing society that you're not just an old ancient tradition, that you are relevant to society. And, uh, so, finding this clientele of yoga and health, how, to, how this is actually very vibrant, strong, and in our tradition. What can you share with others for the, that? For that relief. If somebody wants to learn from it, can you share a website? Can you share some material? Um, there's no website on that yet. I know that the devotees in Australia, they, uh, they have a quite, quite developed system to, for example, they do a, a yoga fair. They organize a yoga fair. So by organizing fairs, it's a very practical thing to, uh, of course, you need to invest some money because you need like a whole hall. But if organizing a fair is very good to present your project, your ideas, and inviting the whole scene of the town. It's very localized. It's kind of okay. If you do a fair in the city, you get all the people who work on this professional field, and then uh, you, you are leading, the leading people in the section. You invite people you see, you share the information. So making a fair, a lot of work, but once you do it and you do it regularly, it creates a lot of very, very good experience in Australia. And they actually, unfortunately, they don't want to give it for free. So that, that's the reason why we decided to create our own system. But we get inspiration, they give us information, but they don't give the whole package. They would they were asking for some share percentage and so on. Because they themselves put so much energy in there. Uh, that's why. But in general, making a fair is something very practical. And if there's a good team, even of five to vote, six to vote, they, they can do that. And uh, this is one practical step. But uh, there's no homepage or something. Of course, I could give my email address and I, I could write some more and, and there can be some further discussion. It would be nice to have some, some forum. I don't know if you have this in your organization too. We organize fairs very regularly yeah. in some places. It's a good way of, of reaching out to people, inviting people to more, especially in the professional field. And it also gives credibility to the devotees, I think. Any questions to Patrick? Patrick belongs to the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, right? Came with Prabhu Vaidyanath, who's also representing his con. And so this is one project from Munich. So, any questions for him? <coughs> 